So hi and welcome to another video on this one slightly different if you've been following my youtube series i've been doing teardowns of these mice and i've also been doing reviews along with other stuff like keyboards mice mouse pads as well so what i'm going to start doing as well is weight reduction videos and that's what we're going to be doing today we're going to be taking this glorious model low mouse here this is a glossy black version and we're going to see how light we can get it with some light modifications granted a little bit of uh, soldering iron here but you can tailor the modifications to to what suits you and how far you want to go. So if you want to see more of these, because I'm not sure how popular they're going to be, hit the like button. That'll give me an idea whether to do some more and things like the G Pro Wireless, which definitely looks popular, the 305 from Logitech, the maybe Final Mouse Air 58, and a few other ones as well that I've got going forward, like the Zowie series as well. I'm not going to show you how to break this mouse down. I'm going to go into it when the mouse is already broken down. If you want to understand how to do that, I'll put a link in the description for the teardown video if you've not seen this, where I take this mouse apart fully. This modification is going to require that, or at least to a certain extent, if you want to get it as light as possible. And that video will show you how to break it down and get, get it down to the level that you need it to be to do the mods that you want to do. We're going to weigh this mouse. We're going to weigh it before, after, to give you an idea of what weight you can save. Like I say here, the soldering iron is optional because this is going probably a little bit extreme. We've got a knife here to take the feet off, a screwdriver that you're going to need and a hair dryer as well to take the feet off. I'm also about to do the review for this model though, it'll be coming in the next few days so don't forget to subscribe as well to make sure you don't miss that going forward. So let's get into it and see how light we can make this mouse.
So that was it, we've got this mouse down to a good weight here I think without compromising it, you can leave the back on, you could leave the back off. You could also desolder the side switches if you don't use those and save a few more grams. You can see in the picture at the beginning how many grams that will save you. For my personal preference I like the side buttons on and I think this is a good subtle mod here to allow you to still not feel like the mouse is too deconstructed. Could probably go a little bit further, I might do that, we shall see. If you need to change the DPI as well, you can push a screwdriver down the inside of the switch here and you can change the DPI on the fly. No problems. Once you've got it set to something like 400, 800, you won't need to change that anyway going forward. So as always, hope you like this video. Hit the like and subscribe button and I'll see you all again soon. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.